Hello, and welcome back to the Daily Mass Readings. Um, you might be able to hear someone else talking. There's a room over there. There's a grad student talking about some physics. I don't know. I don't understand it. <laughs> um, but today is the Friday in the 15th week of Ordinary Time. It's also the um, optional memorial for the Feast of St. Brindisi of... St. Lawrence of Brindisi. <laughs> That's right. Um, so let's begin. A reading from the book of Exodus. Although Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh obstinate, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it as the first of the month, as the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, Every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one, and shall share in the lamb, in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. But they shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole, with its head and its shanks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning, Whatever is left over in the morning shall be burnt up. And this is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and staff in your hand. You shall eat like those who are in fight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all of your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his peoples. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests, could lawfully eat. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Okay, so we have, this is actually lots of stuff about uh, the Eucharist, you know, the sacrament of the Eucharist in communion. Um, the institution of the Passover. So this is the Lord telling Moses what to tell the children of Israel to do for the Passover. And it's very, it's very clear. It's like, this shall be marked at the head of your calendar. This month is the most important. On the 10th of this month, you must procure a lamb. And you shall keep it until the 14th day. Um, the Jews really keep this week. I forget what the week is called. Um, but there's, there's every single day, there's something new, something special. Um, and it culminates for them in the Sabbath. The Passover on Thursday, Holy Thursday for us, we have the Passover, the institution of the Eucharist at the Last Supper. It's all this connection right there. Um, but then all of this mention of a lamb without blemish. I like to think, because this says a lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. I like to think that when Jesus was a year old, um, that when his parents went to go, did whatever, um, Passover lamb, uh, probably too small, so they did it with their neighbors, or maybe they went to go visit, um, Elizabeth or something like that, and I like to think that on that day, uh, the one-year-old baby Jesus did something funny, <laughs> um, like connected himself in some way to the lamb, and <laughs> I was like, what's going on? But Jesus is the unblemished lamb it shall be slaughtered he was slaughtered and sacrificed Moses tells the Israelites you, that they are to eat with loins girt sandals on your feet staff in hand ready to run because we have been talking about the Israelites in Egypt the slavery in Egypt this is them leaving Egypt and so on the original Passover they had to go fast before Pharaoh changed his mind. And at the end of this first reading, it says, but the blood will mark the houses where you are. The blood. Blood is important. Very important to the Israelites. Um, there's lots of kosher laws to the Jews about blood. And that makes you think about the Eucharist body and blood, bread and wine. What type of bread? Unleavened bread, the same unleavened bread that the Jews eat at Passover because the Lord fulfills his covenants. The new covenant of the altar on the cross fulfills the old covenant. So it doesn't usurp it, replace it. It fulfills it, it completes it. And so it still uses unleavened bread, still uses blood. Because that shows us that the old covenant still lives on in a better form through the new covenant. And I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord, this cup of salvation. I went to Mass this morning and looked up at the consecration and saw a cup full of wine. It became a cup full of blood. It is the cup of salvation. And we shall call on the name of the Lord. This, these Psalms talk about returning to the Lord, calling on him, taking up his cup, his cross. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Die to self. Be the Lord's servant, for he has loosened our bonds. And then the gospel is the, um, is the, is the story about, you know, the, the apostles eating the grain on the Sabbath. It's work. You're taking stuff from the grain. You're harvesting the grain. That's work. Jews don't do work on the Sabbath. Um, and then Jesus is like, did you not read what David did when they were hungry? They ate 
the bread of offering. They went into the temple and ate that because they were hungry. He's saying that there is a hierarchy of importance. Yes, not doing work on the Sabbath is an important thing, but it pales in comparison with the greater goods. I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent men, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Father Elliot this morning was like, he, he mentioned this Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. This is one of the times in which Jesus is most clear about who he is. If you knew what this meant. So there is something greater than Dippel here talking about himself. For the Son of Man, who he has called himself the Son of Man many times, is Lord of the Sabbath. Jesus is saying that he has power over what the Jews hold most holy. Jesus is saying that he is above what the Jews hold most holy on this earth. He is Lord of the Sabbath. He desires mercy, not sacrifice. That is the fulfillment of the Old Covenant, the sacrifice of the Lamb. Well, the ultimate sacrifice is the sacrifice of the Lamb, Jesus on the cross, where he has mercy on us through that sacrifice. And that sacrifice gave mercy. And from now on, there is no need for further sacrifice because the sacrifice on the cross is the ultimate sacrifice. And so all the Lord desires for us is mercy from us. When we share with the Lord, we need to share our mercy. No longer need we sacrifice a one-year-old unblemished lamb. We need to give up our mercy to him. And so, think back on the Mass, the great holiness, the great gifts bestowed on us there. Take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord.